Hey everybody, welcome to a new episode. We've got ourselves a new toy today to play with. Nice. So we've got ourselves a Tika T3X Strata in 7mm Rem Mag. Very nice. I've just been messing around this morning and a little bit this uh, yesterday afternoon trying to side it in, get it ready, and I think we're pretty well right. I do need to adjust the trigger on it still. I want to make it a bit lighter because it's quite stiff at the moment, but that's all right. We'll make do with it for now. I'll adjust it next time, but we'll get to reloading. Hopefully, in a few weeks, I'll start making a load. I've got the 162 grain ELDX to try out. I've heard a few good things from people about it, so we'll see how it goes with that. Anyways, we'll have a few shots of this. Get your muffs. Has quite a bit of Notice that. Alright, so I just did a three shots group then. That was with the 150 grain Winchester Super X or something like that, soft points. And I've probably had, I would have fired it close to 20 times from this afternoon to this morning. And I can tell you, you definitely know you're shooting that light rifle. It's pretty much a T3X super light with a few bells and whistles on it. It's, it's very light, but it's manageable, which is a good thing. It does come with a muzzle brake and a threaded barrel and stuff, but I was really hoping to get away from using the muzzle brake. I prefer not to deafen myself and everyone else when we're out. But anyways, here's that shot. Those three shots I just fired then. I was going for this little corner of tape. So there's one one there, one there, one there. That's just with factory, factory ammo. See my thumb there, that's maybe an inch between those three shots and I was aiming for about here. So right now, well I'm very happy with that. I've only shot it maybe, yeah, 20 times. So I'm gonna play with a bit more after I adjust the trigger, but that won't be until next trip because I don't, have the uh, Torx bit to take the trigger guard off this trip, but that's all right. Anyways, now that it's sighted in, we're gonna go for a bit of a hunt. <laughs> yeah, it's, we're gonna go hunt a goat. Yeah, I know it's very much an overkill on a goat, the seven mil, but I don't live anywhere where there's deer or anything big so i'm just going to test it out get myself a bit of a bit of dog's meat running a bit low so i might get one or two goats one or two billies maybe just test it out and see how it goes but no i'm pretty happy with that group very nice to shoot apart from you get a little bit tender after a few shots <laughs> but i don't have to put the brake on so that's the main thing all right well we'll pack it up and We'll go out and go look for a goat. Here we have the gate girl. 
Look at her, she's good, does good gay stuff. <laughs> she's very angry. So I'm getting a bit closer, I can see him now. There's a few nannies as well. Kangaroos. Where's those billies gone? Is that a billy? Oh yeah. Billy. There's a big mob of billies. I'm gonna get in a little bit closer and see if I can see if there's any big ones in there. This one there that would probably just be a bit over 30. Nothing too big. Oh, there's more in the background. I'll get up to this tree and sit down. Well, I just got a shot off at a billy goat. Not a not a huge billy goat or anything like that. Not a bad, not a bad goat. It's been quite a long time since I've shot one with a rifle, but I was pretty keen to test out this seven mil. Well, I'm hoping I got that on the the big camera, but um, yeah, I had to set up the camera and move have a shot so hopefully he was in frame still there was a he's only 100 140 yards i think the shot was and just as expected the the seven mil just did it did it instantly it's very overkill for goats i'll probably after this trip i probably won't have a shoot another goat with it because i don't need to i've got a 223 i've got bow Seven mil is just a little bit too much for a goat, but I bought it as a a dual rifle, so I'm going to be hunting some deer with it and even bigger stuff later on. So it's going to do the job definitely. Yeah, this goat's around here somewhere. He was laying under one of the, or standing under one of these trees. Which tree was it? Not this one back here, maybe. Just wasn't paying attention. I was walking the complete to the complete wrong trees. I went to this tree, that tree, and that tree, but he's over at this tree. <laughs> Derp. Oh, I can smell him from here. I'm like 30 or 40 yards away, and I can smell it. Anyone who knows who's hunted a billy goat or been close to him knows exactly what I'm talking about. They rank. Very smelly. Yeah, there he is. Nothing crazy. Perfect shot. Right where I was aiming. Oh well, I'll um, set him up. I'll get a few photos and stuff like that. And I'll cut him up. Take him home for, for the dog log He will love that. I'm sure of it. It's actually a really nice coloured skin. It's like white with a grey and sort of like almost a bluey colour as well. Yeah. Oh, well, I'll get set up. Oh, I'm just going to head back to the car now. 
I'm gonna go, oh, it's not very far away. I'm just gonna grab my knife, have a little cool drink, come back and take the all four legs and take the back straps for the dog log too. Yeah, well, I was kind of expecting that to happen with the seven mil versus a goat, but anyways, gave it a test run and I'm actually very happy with how it performed. The goat went down like instantly. Didn't even know that something hit it, it was just out. Well, that's the benefit of using a rifle sometimes. I don't always use a rifle, I'm pretty much a bow hunter like 95% of the time, but most places I go, I have a rifle with me. Um, I do spot a lot, I shoot a lot of foxes. That's pretty much it with a rifle. I do take it when I hunt deer because I don't have the luxury of deer country nice and close to home. It's six or seven hours drive from home. So worst comes to worst, I can take the rifle one of the days and I can still come home with some venison. If you're tight on time, like I'm pretty tight on time today, I've gone out and pretty much the first or second mob of goats I've seen picked out one I wanted to shoot and yeah it's done it's still it's very early in the day it might be lunchtime but I wouldn't have left camp until 10 or 11 it stinks this is very blurry vehicle commandeered and I'm now the gate girl whatever Good old funny just jokes. <laughs> Douche. You're lucky you got that door because I would have kept going. Well guys, that's the end of another video. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching. But um, I've got another week or so at home, so hopefully I can find another couple of videos to sort out for you. But yeah, I've been a little bit quiet the past month because I've been stuck away for work, but yeah, I've got a little bit of time now, so we'll see what I can do. All right, take it easy everyone. See you later. What have we got here? What's this? Come here.
You like that? Yummy. Love a bit of fresh dough. What do you reckon, Atlas? Hey, what do you reckon? Put a bit of seasoning on it, a bit of dirt. 